Mm. Love, love, love. Fried rice jam packed with so many beautiful spices. There's potato, there's peanuts, there's curry leaves. This rice has all the things. This is my version of masala fried rice. Okay, so you guys have seen me cook a lot of fried rice, Southeast Asian fried rice, mainly um, Chinese fried rice, Japanese fried rice, Thai fried rice, of course, because my mom is from Thailand. Um, but I wanted to do something different today and do an Indian fried rice. Now, I did some research. Um, I found a really cool recipe by Rajshri Food, uh, and I really loved the base of his recipe. So I'm taking that, but I've added my own little bits and pieces here. Um, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Uh, now, first of all, we need to um, talk about rice. So I'm using basmati rice here and I'm just going to pop that into my rice cooker. Once the rice is cooked, it's really important how you treat it before we do the fried rice. So use a fork to fluff up the grains so that you're not breaking them up too much. And then I want you to pop that rice into the fridge or freezer for at least half an hour so it cools down or preferably even do it the day before. So here I have my cold rice and you can see it's not sticky or gluggy at all. It's really important to start off with a nice dry cold rice so you don't end up with like a sticky mess once you start stir frying. Um, so I'm gonna pop that into a bowl. And the thing that I really love about this dish, which makes it so different from like the Thai fried rice that I would usually make at home, is the beautiful big hit of spices that you get. So we start off with some garam masala, some turmeric, some Kashmiri chili powder, and some fresh coriander as well. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt here too. Now I really love this technique of mixing the rice with the spices before it hits the pan because I think you get a much more even combination of those spices coating each grain of rice. So now to get everything cooking, I want to turn my heat on and I'm using ghee here, which is um, basically a clarified butter. I think it gives a really lovely richness to the rice, but you could also use oil as well. And then a lot of the recipes I looked up, um, some used potatoes, some didn't, some used peanuts, some didn't, um, but I'm gonna use both <laughs> because I really like the idea of both that creamy potato plus the like nutty peanuts. Um, so to start with, the, the potato goes in and I just wanna basically like fry these. So this is raw peeled potato, but cut into small-ish cubes. It will cook nicely in the wok um, in that ghee. So just keep stir frying until you see a really lovely golden color, around about five minutes. All right, so you can see that really lovely golden color there. Uh, now I'm gonna go in with some onion. I always add a little bit of salt when I'm sauteing onions. Kind of draws out the moisture and helps to bring out the sweetness in the onions. Now, of course, this is my version of a masala fried rice. I'd love to know if I'm doing it wrong as well. That's okay, you can come at me in the comments and let me know. Um, now, I have things looking lovely and golden in here, so I'm gonna start going with my other ingredients. I have some garlic. I've got some peanuts. And these here are curry leaves. Now, I know not everyone is gonna be able to get a hold of curry leaves. If you can manage to find them at your Indian or Asian um, grocery store, they're really great to freeze, so you can keep them on hand whenever you would like to use them. And they add just such a lovely fragrance as well as a really beautiful flavor. So they're really great to have, but if you can't find them, just don't worry, leave them out. Some dried chilies. Now you could go more or less. You know I'm always gonna go more because I like the spicy. Now, a few more spices here. I've got some mustard seeds, some cumin seeds. I did say this was like one a beautiful jam-packed spiced dish. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more ghee here before I add in my rice. And then rice goes in. Oh, wow, that smell is incredible. I feel like this has reinvigorated my passion for fried rice stacks. What do you reckon? Feels good. How many fried rices have you filmed? 
Never Indian though. We've never done Indian before. I know, I know. Doesn't it smell good? I'm excited. Not that I would say anything bad about a Thai fried rice ever, would I? No. No. Don't want to offend those uh, Asian ancestors. Oh, annoyed. Oh, annoyed from my <laughs> My mum really would come yeah. at me. Yeah, yeah. Although I think she would enjoy this version too. All right, so this is looking and smelling incredible. Now all that's left to do is to pile that out into a bowl. So in the same way that like with a Thai dinner, I would always have leftover rice to make fried rice the next day. You know, this is definitely something that I would make with leftover basmati rice after having an Indian dinner too. All right, so without any further chit chat, I'm gonna get in here and try this because I'm very excited about it. Mm. There's so much going on there. Oh, love, love, love. So many amazing spices. I mean, this is definitely, I mean, I always say when you've got a good fried rice, like a good Thai fried rice or Chinese fried rice, you don't need anything else. You actually don't need anything else with this. Delicious. Mm. Yum, if you haven't tried this, you really need to. Mm. My new favorite fried rice. Don't tell my mom. Hey guys, if you wanna know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you.